But we'll see what happens. I'm actually curious on, you know, whoever wins this is going to face off against Kelly W in the winners final. And that's going to be a really cool match to watch as well. Okay, first game at Dreamland. Most love controls, most Peach Falcon matchups have started out here. It's a really good stage for both characters. Falcon gets to move around a lot, and Peach never dies on this stage. So. So, Rocky with a slight lead right here, but Armada could easily just change that up. Good jab combo by Rocky, but Armada crush cancel that, so Armada could get off a combo right after. It's so hard to punish that sometimes when the Falcon just goes. You know, you can't really see where he's gonna land. You have to just, you know, intercept it. Oh, and there is the Falcon. Good attempt, though. He was close. It was not that far from the ledge. Nice by Rocky. Oh, he can't really do much at this point. Have to guess probably uh, to get a good hit on Armada. And that is not enough. The down throw, if Peach the eyes away, Falcon can't follow it up. Oh, these up airs by Armada. A shield drop? Ooh. Yeah, that's exactly what Rocky needed. The only reason why that worked is because, you know, usually Peach full cancels everything, but Armada just shield drop, which means that she is accustomed to the same lag as every other character that lands L canceling normally, which gave him enough time, gave Rocky enough time to jump out of shield and knee him. Good DI by Rocky. Let's see if he. Oh, oh sweet, the sniper. Yeah, he's not gonna make it back when he gets hit by that stitch. Let's see if Rocky can make something new happen. He has before done make this work, even at, you know, one stock deficit like this. But we'll see. Oh. Okay. It's hard to get something out of some stuff because Peach has to DI so horribly and have to be so careful because as soon as Peach regains control after the throw, she can nair and that beats out all of Falcon's aerials, I think. Maybe not nair, depending on how the nair is based. But for the most part, all his aerials, because uh, Peach's nair is three, four frames. Startup. And Falcon's moves are not nearly as fast, I think. I think his fastest ones will be seven or eight. Uh, I'll have Rocky correct me on that later. <laughs> I actually have no idea. His nair is pretty quick though, and back air, but after a throw, after a up throw or a forward throw, you have to, you know, wait instead of going all the way out. And it looks, it looks <laughs> it's looking pretty grim for our people's champ. I wouldn't say Rocky did a horrible job at that match. Oh. Armada is just that strong and, you know, amazing, has an amazing punish game as Peach. Um, and just knows what he's doing with all the turnips to wall him out. And this is actually also a very good stage choice. More so to Falcon's favorite. Nice by Rocky. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the knee. Nice. nice. He's been so good at reading those. Like against Thomas, he got him like literally every time. Almost every time against Thomas when he got a grab. Nice edge guard by Armada. Ties it up. As you can see, guys, ladies and gentlemen, Rocky is no sludge. He <laughs> really is the people's champ right here. Showing that he can play good versus Armada. Doesn't make it any easier though because he's <laughs> playing a heavy heavy enough character for Peach to combo. Mm. Oh. Nice. I don't know uh, what that F throw was about. But just to put him away. Like sometimes uh, in melee, you just gotta, you know, get a throw in. Even if you don't get good mileage off it, sometimes you just, you know, you need space. You need yeah. to wall out your opponents, you can breathe a little and you know, just rethink the situation really f really fast, but you still you need to make time for that sometimes in, in mid-match and that's what makes these players so amazing because you know, they're able to do that and not only think, oh okay I should just, you know, pressure this guy this way or stuff like that, but sometimes you just need to uh, just stand there and you know, or just move your opponent away and have a Mexican standoff. It makes sense because whoa. I think we're seeing why it's, um, some Swedish people w want to ban the stage. 
Probably. Uh, As, not that we don't see a reason to ban this stage anytime uh, this stage is being played on, but... Oh, good nice. attempt by Rocky though, but it's tough in that situation. Let's see. Yeah, dangerous, dangerous situation right there, being so far out playing the stage. As with a lot of characters, you want to be under Peach, not over her, or above her, I mean. Yeah. Um, See if Rocky can at least get this kid. Nice! Ooh. That was just, wow. Yeah, I did. He just I, went for that. I didn't think he would uh, uh, go for the knee there. Dude, it's and, people's champ. And probably <laughs> Armada didn't neither, so... Now, at that point, like, if Armada is going one way, he's pretty much going one way, because... Even if you fast fall your up B, you, uh, you have pretty much the same trajectory area. So, like, I wouldn't say, like, oh. it, it wasn't impossible for him to get. Oh my god, Armada. It's a dead Falcon. That is so cool. <laughs> Standard stuff for him, though. Um, one thing I was talking about, um, talking to Solar about when we were commenting Rocky in pools um, versus PhD. Doesn't use uh, up throw as much as he possibly um, should. I uh, down throw uh, is really just for uh, getting the knee, and he should rather use more up throws um, when I he think isn't going for it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think that in Rocky's case, sometimes like going for the forward throw can you know, you know, leave him open for that up throw kill, like we've seen twice before. Uh, you know, mixing it up, even though he's using the same one, it might be acting as a mind game, mm. you know, for Armada's DI. You gotta set up people's DI, like Kali W yeah. does sometimes when he plays. Uh, he mentioned this earlier before, so I've been thinking about using that to my playstyle as well. It's a really smart thing to do, like, you know, have your opponent, you know, just subconsciously think that you're going to DI, going to do the same throw again, or, you know, yeah. DI the same way, and then you suddenly DI really, really good. And what are they like? They have a microsecond to think about. Okay, yeah. What should I do now when he dies that way? Because I didn't expect it at all. Kind of like how uh, Doctor Peepy likes to up throw Peach as smart, um, because then he can use a setup of uh, tech chase situation as a mix up instead of um, the Peach always expecting to have to tech. Yeah, or you know, expecting uh, juggling all over the place as well. Oh, wow. Rocky is doing a really good job just, you know, walling out Peach by the ledge, but Armada just knows how to get in, which makes it really, really hard. Oh, nice, nice. by Rocky getting that one. Okay, he's still he's still living. I'm, wow. Okay. Armada for there. Nice. There, through the platform. That was really good. As to this day, I'm still amazed that Armada can play Peach at this level. Usually <laughs> Peach never beats these characters, but because of Armada, we have players like Kalamazoo, who did yeah. really, really good uh, at a very recent tournament. Yeah, big America. House. Yeah, Big House, yeah. And it's really fun to see, you know, all these players showing up nice. You see what I mean? Like, sometimes mm. you just pull that out and you finally get a kill. You have to be just so smart when you... Try to open up your opponent that way. Nice! He actually got through before the turn of hit him. Or after the turn passed, I mean. Okay, good grab release by Armada. I mean, he's pretty low at percent, so it's not that hard to, to wiggle out of that grab. That should be... Oh, wow! Armada with the mistake! Can Rocket change this up? Oh... Walling him out with the Nairs. The Nairs is actually a really, really good tool against Peach. Because Peach, I don't think Peach can get through the Nair at all, to be honest. Not nah, Whoa, that reverse oh. knee. Ooh. Oh. I, I wouldn't want to see a knee right there. That would have been insane. Yeah. Rocky's having a very hard time edge guarding Armada. Yeah. He, was, he was doing really good uh, versus another Peach, but Armada. Yeah, Armada just knows this matchup in and out more than most players. Nice. I'm, I'm surprised that he doesn't go for the but at the same time, like, it's probably safer to go for you know the most safe hit. You know, can I get a hit just to get him out of my face? And with that throw, uh, 
his percent has reset it. But the dangerous part is being at low percent leaves you out for big combos. Oh Ooh. my god, that is scary. Oh, uh, okay. He's back on. Yeah. He's back. Not, Not okay, he's back yet. on stage. Let's see if he can capitalize on this. Okay. Oh, wow. Momentum swing. Back, back to Rocky. Nice. Mm. Good choice. Actually, really good choice. Sometimes I, I wish we had that thing from PM and Brawl where you know where you dash and then you do a turnaround in the middle of the dash when you somewhat slide and you know you can get a back um, air as your uh, reverse aer aerial rush. 